Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import your Google Tasks into a Google Spreadsheet using an add-on. We'll walk through how to build an add-on that imports all your Google Tasks into a spreadsheet. This add-on will organize your Google Tasks into different tabs based on the task lists to which those tasks belong. For example, you can see here that I have several tabs open, each corresponding to a different task list name. Let me show you my Google Tasks. On the bottom right corner, you'll see the Show Side Panel icon. Click on that button to reveal the mini sidebar, then click on the Tasks icon. You can see that I have six different task lists, and corresponding to these task lists, I have matching tabs in the Google spreadsheet. The add-on automatically creates an index sheet that lists all the task list names and adds hyperlinks to the corresponding sheets with your Google Tasks. Here you can see I've got an index sheet listing all my six task lists, as seen in my Google Tasks app, with hyperlinks to the respective tabs containing the tasks. Now let me show you a demo of how to use this. First, I'll clear and delete all the existing sheets in the spreadsheet. I'll start with a new sheet and clear out the index sheet as well. Now that everything's cleared out except for the index sheet, I'll go to the Google Tasks add-on custom menu and click on Import Task List. As you can see, it has populated the index sheet with all the different task list names and created corresponding tabs in the Google Sheet for each of those task lists. For example, I have tabs for Excel Tutorials, Web Tutorials, blog ideas, YouTube channel, Google Sheet tutorials, and email actions. You can see that different tabs were created. Here, you can see one task list named Google Sheet Tutorials. The script has also formatted the header of this sheet and applied wrap formatting to columns C and D. Now, suppose you want to import all the Google tasks associated with this task list. All you need to do is go to the Google Tasks custom menu and click on Import Pending Tasks in this task list. Let me click this menu item. As you can see, it has imported all the pending tasks and applied checkbox formatting to column B. Now, if you want to import all tasks, including those that are completed, click on Import All Tasks in this task list. You'll see it has also imported the tasks that were completed. If you want to import all tasks into a single sheet, meaning it will merge tasks from different task lists into one sheet, you can do that too. Just click on Import All Pending Tasks. This will create a sheet named All Tasks and pull all the associated pending tasks. You can also import all tasks, including completed ones, by clicking on the Import All Tasks menu item. As you can see, it's a handy add-on for various scenarios, whether you want to import tasks per task list or gather all tasks, pending or completed, into one sheet. If you're enjoying this, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a like. Sharing it with your friends or in your WhatsApp groups would be a big help in supporting this channel. Now, let me show you how to customize this for your own use. First, you'll need to make a copy of this spreadsheet from the link given in the description box. To do that, go to the File menu and select Make a Copy. Once you've made your duplicate, go to the Extensions menu and click on Apps Script. This will open the script editor in a new tab. At the top of the script editor, you'll see the On Open method. This method is triggered when the spreadsheet is opened, and it's where we add a custom menu called 
Google Tasks. This is the method that creates the custom menu. And then we use the Add Item method to add several menu items like Import Task List, Import Pending Tasks, and others. The Add Item method takes the name of the custom menu item and the function that should be called when that menu item is clicked. For example, the first item is Import Task List. This menu item is responsible for fetching all the task lists and preparing the index sheet. Let me show you how it works. This block of code fetches the task lists, then loops through the task list items, calling the add sheet method. Let me show you where the add sheet method is defined. Here it is, the add sheet method. This method takes the sheet name as a parameter, checks if the sheet exists, and if not, it creates the sheet, adds headers, and applies formatting like freezing the first row and setting column widths. It also formats the header row, as you can see here. This is the function that handles adding new sheets, including the index sheet, with only slight formatting differences. The logic for adding hyperlinks is also here. This block of code adds a hyperlink to the right of the cell containing task list names, which is how the index sheet is created. After fetching the task lists, the task list data is saved in the property services, which allows us to easily retrieve task list IDs associated with different task lists when needed. Next, we have methods like import all pending tasks and import all tasks. These methods are responsible for fetching all the tasks from all the task lists, merging them together, and then returning the tasks. For example, in this block, we fetch the task lists, loop through them, retrieve the task list IDs, and then call the getTasks method. Let me show you the getTasks method. Here it is. The getTasks method takes a task list ID and a flag called showAll. If showAll is true, it fetches all tasks, including completed, hidden, and deleted ones. If you don't want to fetch deleted tasks, you can remove this line. Google Tasks restricts importing to a maximum of 100 tasks at a time, so if there are more than 100 tasks, we'll need to use the Next Page token to retrieve additional tasks. This method fetches sets of 100 tasks, checks if a Next Page token exists, and if it does, fetches the remaining tasks. Once all tasks are retrieved, they are returned. This is the main method responsible for fetching tasks. After the tasks are fetched, we loop through them, adding the task ID, title, notes, and due date to an array. The next page token is used to fetch any remaining tasks, and then all tasks are returned. Now let me show you the options you can pass to this method when fetching task lists. This is the documentation site for Tasks API. The tasks.list method accepts optional query parameters like show deleted, show hidden, max results, and page token. In my case, I've provided show deleted, show hidden, max results, and page token. You can explore the documentation further if you need to refine the method. Returning to my script, get tasks is the main method responsible for fetching tasks, so you'll want to review it carefully to understand what's happening in this code block. Depending on our requirements, we might set the show all flag to true if we want to fetch all tasks. When importing all tasks for a particular task list, we first fetch the active sheet name, 
retrieve the associated task list ID, use that ID to retrieve all tasks, and then write the fetched tasks to the spreadsheet. This block of code is responsible for formatting column B as checkboxes. At the end, we apply wrap formatting to columns C and D. That's it for the code overview. You can copy this spreadsheet and review all the methods listed here. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.